Hi, Rick. Chris here with an update of my 1966 AWA P2. So I did some probing around in the EHT section today because um, I, my replacement 1B3 GT arrived in the mail and while it's still weak it only measures at 39 whereas a good tube should test at 50. It's better than the other one which tested 31. So I've installed that. I had to put a new cable for the top grid cap in as the other one had deteriorated and cracked. But probing around I find, found my main issue. There are two resistors in here, both were carbon. One's a, um, I think, 1.5 ohm or 15 ohm. The other's a 1000 ohm or a 1k ohm. So the 1k ohm resistor had gone open circuit. And because it's on the line in between the 1B3 GT and the CRT anode that meant that very little EHT was getting over um, so I replaced that with a spare I found and huzzah it works so unfortunately it has no vertical deflection which I'm going to see to now but it's working for EHT is working so I'm happy with that um, so, comes up to 15,000 volts. This um, should be running at 16,000, but um, for the meantime, I don't think 1,000 volts on the anode um, will make much difference. So, I've got the circuit up here on my computer. There's a flyback transformer there. A 1.2 volt, I think it is, or 1.4 volt filament, um, which comes off a separate winding. There's a top plate in there. Um, so there are two resistors there, so 1.5 ohm, and there's a troublesome 1k ohm, which is on the um, line into the CRT at 16,000 volts. So now I've just got to fart around and lucky I've got the circuit diagram for this um, and all the parts lists and whatnot so I can probe around the vertical and see what's going wrong with this There's, um, yeah so that's good though I've got vertical well sorry I've got EHT so I'm happy with that so there's where it is so cheers